practice. So now what is clinical psychology? So clinical psychology, see friends, the basic difference. Now you would see um, clinical psychology and counseling psychology, they do appear to merge at a certain time, uh, at a certain place. But although they merge, there is a very big difference between the two. The number one difference is that clinical psychologists, like psychology deals with people who are suffering from some disorder or who are suffering from um, serious maladaptive behaviors in their life, okay, serious maladaptive issues. Whereas in counseling psychology, many people who come to um, the psychologist, they are normal people. They're not suffering from neurosis or psychosis or anything like that, but they have become wayward in their thoughts. They have deviated from what they have wanted. They need a clarity in life, okay? So they basically come for clarity, whereas in clinical psychology, the issues are pretty more serious, okay? Now, what does clinical psychology do? So you can understand it this way, that a clinical psychologist can very easily go into counseling field. But a counseling psychologist would need not only a degree in clinical psychology, but would also need a lot more expertise to help uh, these clients who, who actually need um, need uh, interventions due to the disorders they are uh, having or they're going through that pain of the disorders. Okay, so this basically focuses on assessment, treatment, understanding of psychological, behavioral problems and disorders. Okay, so there's a word called disorders here. And this focuses on uh, how human psyche interacts with physical, emotional and social aspects of health and dysfunction. That means uh, it, it not only addresses one issue, but it has to look into the emotional aspect. It has to look, uh, uh, look at the history of the person, how this had happened, causes, and then uh, if this happened, then what it could lead to. So there are a multitude of things that the person, that the clinical psychologist looks into. Okay? So that is why clinical psychology is um, more broad, we can say. Also, it is... Um, you can say it covers almost little bit of every subfield of psychology, okay? Because it totally delves into the personality of the person. It delves into the coping pattern of the person. It delves into the relationships and other peripheral causes that brought the person to the table of the psychologist, okay? So this is clinical psychology, which is the broadest. And many people, many students, they prefer clinical psychology because when you are in clinical psychology, you can touch every other. Okay. So we'll go to the next. Uh, we'll go to the next one. Yes. So now friends, when we are talking about IGNO, so these are some of the um, uh, topics. Why I'm telling some of them because you also have practical and other things that you have to do. So first we have MPCE 011. So that is all about psychopathology. So psychopathology is uh, psychopathology. That means pathology is all about um, problems or issues, uh, etc. Psycho means mentally. So mentally, jo bhi disorders, hai, etc. that we have to study. So we have to look at the foundations of psychopathology. So that uh, would include the reasons that I told you. If there is any genetic reason, or if let's say any environmental reason, so all that would come under foundations of psychopathology. Then we directly come to the disorders. So we have generalized anxiety disorder, uh, other mental disorders, mood disorder, schizophrenia and other psychotic disorder, personality disorder, etc. Okay, so that we would study under uh, MPC 011. So friends, please understand those who are absolutely new to this. How would you know a disorder is a disorder? Okay, very, very looks like the most simplest question, but is the most toughest question. Why? Because what may be a deviation in your culture may not be a deviation in another culture. Okay. So what is the parameter to know that what is an order and what is in disorder? What is an order and what is a disorder? Um, so for that, we have two very important uh, manuals, okay, or let's say two important books. If no, if somebody does not understand manual, please understand it this way. We have two important books. So, man lijiye, suppose there is one book that is known as DSM, that is Diagnostic and Statistical Manual. So, usme kya hota hai? You already have some of the criteria for a disorder. Let's say, let's say this is a very crude example, friends. I'm not going into details. I'm just telling you in a very crude way. Suppose we would say that a person 
is can be considered to be depressed i'm using very general terms these are not psychological terms i'm using very general terms for understanding suppose we'll say that a person can be considered to be depressed if he or she sleeps for more than 12 hours a day uh, does not eat let's say uh, two times a day se zyada wo nahi khate hain and um, avoids people does not attend any social gathering stays quiet most of the time does not take part in any physical activity aise karke let's say we have seven to eight criteria so when a client comes to us and describes the problem now jab aapke paas koi client aate hain and then they describe the issue to you and suddenly let's say wo bolte hain ki ma'am mujhe to lagta hai main 15 20 ghante to bas sota hi hu so you click that okay to 12 hours se zyada ho gaya okay so maybe this one condition is fulfilled he says that sometimes i don't feel like eating i might eat three to four times a day but majority of the days i just have my dinner maybe because i wake up late i miss breakfast i don't feel like eating at lunch evening mein i don't i can't make anything so dinner mein only i feel that i should eat something so see again it's less than two times a day i don't like to go out i don't want to meet anybody i just don't get any energy to do any physical work to aap kya karte ho na looking at their description of the issues you can match them with these criteria and then you come to the conclusion okay that this person is suffering from this disorder okay so this is diagnostic and statistic manual which is used the most iske alawa we have icd international classification of diseases to usme bhi also we have some reference to uh, psychological disorders but then that A reference or that content is quite less compared to DSM. So DSM is something that is given by the AP or American Psychological Association, and that is preferred book. That is preferred manual for um, uh, finding about disorders. Okay, psychological disorders. So all that friends, we are going to study in uh, MPC E zero one one. Then it is MPC E zero one two. That is psychodiagnostic. So what we are going to study here, we are going to study about personality disorders. we are going to study about psychodiagnostic that matlab we are going to diagnose how much time will this person take to uh, come back to his uh, earlier self uh, in how many weeks what kind of uh, changes will come in how many weeks the situation has you know um, the situation has become worse in the earlier stages of a disorder how he was now how he has uh, worsened okay so all of this will come under this then we will also Uh, do some test in cognitive functions we'll talk about projective techniques so projective techniques if you would have done the first year aapko pata hoga we talked about roshark we talked about thematic apperception test children apperception test sentence completion test all that is a projective test or roshark projective test kya hai the stimulus patterns of the test are not clear but rather they are ambiguous so we give it to the client and then the client makes up a story or the client joins the dots um, of those stimulus things and then of the test items and then he presents a story to you so usne wo jo bolte hain us hisab se aapko ye pata lag jata hai ki wo kya project kar rahe hain kya dikhana cha rahe so unke mind mein kya hai so what basically he has in his mind or she had she has in his mind so from that you can understand suppose that you show the client a very ambiguous picture and the client only talks about okay this is a small boy from his look i feel he's very poor probably everybody abuses him in his house uh, and he's neglected child and you know, he feels very unhappy he does not have father and mother so he is staying in somebody so when they are making up the story from there you can get a hint that probably the person must have undergone the same pain at some stage in his life okay so he's projecting out his own emotions while he is um can while he is uh, taking this test okay so these all we will come we will do under mpc e012 then we have mpc e013 that is psychotherapeutic uh, methods where we are going to talk about therapies jo humne disorders upar padhe unko hum kaise unki treatment kar, karne ke liye hum kaun se kaun se therapies use kar sakte hain so first is how uh, psycho, what we are going to do in block 1 is psychological treatment of mental disorders okay so what therapies can be used so we can use behavior therapy uh, we can use cognitive therapy psychoanalytic therapy we can use gestalt therapy we can use a uh, friends therapies bahut sare hain but the ones that i have told you those are the major ones cbt that is cognitive behavioral therapy cognitive therapy behavioral therapy in uh, al matlab al 
individually then there is a, something known as eclectic approach jahan pe you are taking the best out of the therapies and formulating them into a single one merging them and trying to help the client with that then there are some small physical aspects of therapies involved like jacobson's progressive muscle relaxation that is done when you are going through a very anxiety um, provoking situation let's say you are very very when you are going through some phobia you are very very um, uh, scared of spider lizard or something so what we have to do the therapy that is used here is systematic desensitization to aap kya karte ho systematic desensitization mein sabse lowest jo thought provoking stimulus hai thought provoking provoking situation hai you put the client in that that you think that you are sitting here and two rooms away from you there is a spider but wherever aap jahan baithe ho wahan se you can look at the spider so how are you feeling so this would be probably the lowest step the highest step would be you are sitting and just in front of you barely 1 feet away there is a spider how do you feel now so to come from the lowest step to the highest step you need a graded exposure you need a time of let's say one week four weeks five weeks looking at how the person reacts so many a times aap ye karne se pehle jab wo insaan spider sun leta hai so he gets very very anxious so what you have to do is you have to calm him down aap kaise calm down karenge unko you will use something known as jacobson progress jo jacobson progressive muscle relaxation you will ask them to perform this exercise perform this exercise you will ask them ki aap apne haath ko na bahut zor se clinch karo and then aap usko dheere dheere release karo so this is how you are going to have a calming effect and then you can do this uh, treatment on them okay or you can use this therapy on them so <clears throat> Uh, these things will all come under uh, this uh, module of MPC zero one three, that is treatment of mental disorders. Then cognitive and behavioral therapies that I told you, other therapies for psychological intervention and psychotherapy across life cycle. So psychotherapy because sometimes one therapy which could be useful in your younger days may not be useful in your older days. Why not, friends? Let's say let's take the example of psychoanalytic therapy. Now, psychoanalytic therapy may there is a lot of focus on unconscious motive unconscious desire childhood experiences relationship with family members now this might be very useful for uh, growing up children or let's say max to middle age children but if you are trying it on somebody who is 65 70 he really might not remember now what were his childhood experiences what were the things that he has repressed what are the things that he has suppressed uh, inside what was the relationship so again you have to see which is the best kind of therapy according to the life cycle according to the age according to the requirement okay so these kind of uh, treatments we will do under these module okay so next we have practicum in clinical psychology internship project that you will be doing from your institute or from your um, what is it called study center itself so uske liye we are not going to take up anything we are just going to take up these three modules so your entire course that is roughly going to be 3.5 months to 4 months will only cover the first three modules friends which i'll explain little bit uh, briefly okay so we are not taking up mpc 14 mpc 15 and mpc 16 so i'm again uh, uh, you know again um, trusting that part that our course of 3.5 months to 4 months will only cover the first three modules that is mpc 011 mpc 012 mpc 013 so back in remaining three we are not doing okay 